Hi, welcome back to Sarah Pochikawa and today we are going to talk about Violet Femmes, Ginza Kisaten and Happy Tartan releases. I got both of them kind of around the same time so I want to talk about both of them together. There was a delay in the Ginza skirt being released because there was a problem with the production printing on the cotton I think it was. Um, so they did arrive at the same time, even though the release officially wasn't at the same time. So let's start with the skirt. It's very, very stretchy, as you can see. It's in an old school style with the uh, lace front and it's brown, which isn't kind of... Well, I have a lot of brown accessories, but not a lot of brown clothing. And the print is... It has unusual colours in it, I think, for a lot of that. I don't really see this green and bright orange in any other prints. We've seen it brown, I think, specifically in like um, the, some deer prints and Enchanted Fawn, I think, and stuff like that. But um, And that had a bit of orange as well, but I don't think it was quite like this. It's very vintage 60s inspired, which I really like, but I'm not quite sure if I just like the aesthetic or not. I tried to make a bit of a cord, um, which is something that I had made a collage of. Um, but looking at it, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. And in order to decide whether I'm keeping it or not, I think I need to decide how I'm going to wear it. And if I can't decide how to wear it, I may have to let it go as much as I <laughs> do love it. So let's move on to the tights. The tights are very comfy. The pattern didn't warp um, as bad as the Hainuli ones, which I had gotten a few years ago. And I felt quite stunned, I think, by that um, purchase when it came to pattern tights. But um, my other printed tights are the by the fame ones that are have the vines on it. And you can see that these ones were fine. I'm about the max hip-wise. My legs are quite chunky and you can see that there isn't that much distortion or anything. How they'll go through washing and things like that, I'm not sure. It also has that, do I love the aesthetic and the style or will it actually go into my wardrobe? I think that it will probably go into my normal part of more than the skirt would um, and pattern tights are so hard to get but um, I'm not quite sure I have anything to match <laughs> so I need to look at that as well and I think it'll be a, a common theme I think throughout so those are my two purchases from the Ginza collection and now we'll move on to Happy Tartans which is a big order so we're going from tights to tights. Uh, I thought the accessories part of the Happy Tartan order would be the best place to start. And I have to say, I adore these tights. They're definitely something that would fit into both parts of my wardrobe. I love the cute motifs as well as the tartan. They're like my two top favorite things. I also found these more roomy than the Ginza tights. I'm not quite sure why. There isn't much warping but you do have to make sure I think that the stripes are straight or, or it can look a bit melty <laughs> I guess. Um, but that's kind of the norm with any kind of a stripy tight anyway. Next up is the headdress. I got it in red. I thought it would match the tights. And I have a couple of red items now in my wardrobe and not that much accessories for it. It's a very affordable accessory, although I would prefer if it had a comb or a clip of some kind. I'll be adding it myself and it's not really the hardest thing to do. I just need that kind of security. I'm also not sure if it was very long. Um, it could have been my wig. And in the meantime, I haven't actually tried it properly to see was it my wig kind of seemed to be pushing it down or something it looked a bit strange but otherwise i really really love it and i'm so glad i got the red for a change um i did get a second hand uh yellow version 
which I'm looking forward to wearing as well. Next we're on to the hat. I really love this hat. I had a similar hat as a child and I said I had to get it but it's extremely tight for me. I have a very big head. <laughs> sad to say you know I can wear glasses for days but I can't do hats they have to be very stretchy very specific shape and this one along with the wig being on my head it felt like I was in a, vi uh, a vice grip uh, I don't think I can wear it as somebody who suffers from vertigo and on occasion migraines this is not the thing I need <laughs> is pressure around my head when I kind of have it anyway and with the, the rush often to get ready and go somewhere now I haven't tried it without the wig but I do want to wear it with wigs so like I said I have a yellow headdress and I may have to just stick to that instead and let it go for <laughs> health and safety I guess uh, purposes but yeah I'm hoping that I, I don't have to and I can figure out a way to make it work so we'll see what happens this is the hard bit and I know what you're gonna say what happened <laughs> and the honest answer is I don't know <laughs> I have to try and include the picture of the anime character that I think I look like because of these sleeves. I have two theories as to why <laughs> um, this happened. Uh, one of them is I am shoulderless. I have no shoulders, they're very narrow. Many a seamstress has been gobsmacked by my lack of shoulder. And that's one theory. And my other theory, which could be contributing to it, is I'm very small busted. I am big back, small cup size. And maybe if I had a bigger shoulder and a bigger bust to fill up the blouse, it wouldn't have looked so long. That's just a theory. <laughs> as I haven't seen anybody else with this issue. So it must be me. It could be altered, I'm sure, like a Ted Dart somewhere. It would be a very minor fix to bring it up that bit so that it sits where it should. If you look back at the clip of me with the beret on, I actually had tucked the sleeves in and it's an option, but you're kind of missing the fun part of the blouse, which is, is the bell sleeves. Would I get both of them altered? And the answer is, I don't know. I love the yellow and I want all the yellow. When I started Lalita, one of the first dresses I bought was yellow. I love it so much. And then I got rid of everything. And then when I wanted it again, I couldn't have it. And now there's lots of yellow and I have to get it all back in but the pink I have a particular color pink and I don't like it on me as, as a person it just does something to my skin tone and I don't like it this pink is quite close to that so I'm not sure whether I'll keep it or not if I do you, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> One thing I wanted to say was that I absolutely adore the idea that the blouse and the skirt can be matching to make a one piece. But the only thing I'll say is that I'm not sure whether I should have went with the short sleeve and then got like a detachable sleeve. It just seems a bit much on me. But that's just me. I need to try it I think with the yellow to know for sure whether it's just me looking at the colour and going or you know it's actually just too much. I had another clip to show the stretchiness of the blouse so I'm just going to use this clip here but we're actually moving on to the skirt 
just showing the stretchiness of it. In a moment I'll be pointing at the shoulders. I know it's already been discussed, but I wanted to just use this clip because it was the best one that I had. So the skirt colour doesn't bother me in the slightest because it's far away from my face and I think it's my face in particular that I have the issue with particular pinks. It's as comfortable as the Otemi Nostalgia which I really love, it's so comfortable. It's probably the only piece of clothing in the whole order that I'm like 100% sure that it's going to stay in my wardrobe. I have a few nice t-shirts and I actually when I started I know I said that I had a lot of yellow but I also then went on to pink and I kept a lot of the pink accessories so I should be sorted then to accessorize it. If you need the reference here uh, poof wise that I'm wearing a classical puppets petty it's a little bit deflated it's quite old um, but it's my go-to I suppose medium um, puffiness one I don't like to go too big plus it's the summertime it's quite hot so that is it for my order that was everything uh, it probably seemed a bit bigger than what I thought um, but yeah that is everything so I'd like to discuss my order a bit and some other things so I was very happy with my order it's just the realistically i think you need to look at the stuff that you order and say yes it does fit into my wardrobe or no it doesn't in order to make room for the things that will match i am due a taobao order and i need room for that as well so i need to be realistic is the thing i also need to think about whether it's worthwhile to alter the blouses or to sell them on and maybe try and get the short sleeve ones and just admit defeat. It may work out better that way, it's something I need to think about. I'd also like to say as well that I did a payment plan for this and Violet Femme were amazing, so good. Highly recommend if you need a payment plan, do it. Go ahead, they're so friendly about it. I suppose the next time you'll find out about whether I went ahead with any of these things is the wardrobe video for 2023. Oh, where's the time going? Future video wise, as well as I mentioned, I have a Togo order that's due, and I'll talk about that when it arrives. I'm also in the process of doing another video, but I need two things to come in an order before I can finish it and then I can start recording everything and I think it's a video people will be interested in. I say it's a big video, it's probably not as uh, gargantuan as I make it out to be. <laughs> um, but that's my next plan is mystery video and future Taobao haul. Um, so I'm hoping maybe they'll both be done by Halloween. So we'll see how things go. Thanks so much for being here and watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.